Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. I am Prairie Vintage Jewelry. My name is Linda. I'm an energy intuitive reader here on YouTube, and I use spirit, my intuition, and the tarot to communicate energies to you, beautiful viewer. And we will be taking a look at Sagittarius here, sun, moon, rising, Venus, cross watchers, or just heavy Sagittarius placements. You're all welcome here. Now, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you stumble across this reading, the message was meant to find you, although we will be taking a look at July 2023 love reading here for Sagittarius. So let's ask Spear for a clear and concise message for Sagittarius here for the month of July. Thank you, Spirit, clear and concise message. And thank you so much, Sagittarius, for allowing me to tap into your energy and the energy around you at this time. So we have the Six of Cups in reverse. We have the King of Swords. We have the Emperor, wow, a heavy reading. We have the Fool. We have the Knight of Wands. All right, why is this Six of Cups here in reverse? We have the Queen of Swords. So the King and Queen of Swords both revealing themselves here, divine counterparts. Why is the King of Swords here? We have Death. All right, why is the Emperor here? We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Why is the Fool here? We have the Five of Wands. Finally, why is the Knight of Wands here? We have the Queen of Wands. Interesting. We have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Let's pull some Oracle cards here for you guys. Beautiful Sagittarius. See what we have before we get into your reading. So we have the Sap of the Moon Planets. Interesting. And we'll pull the Keepers of the Light Oracle as well for you. I'm feeling this one right here. Uh, Archangel Michael, trusting heaven, you are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Allow a miracle to occur. Sap of the Moon Fun, definitely a miracle. Um, with that card, with that energy of, of Sap of the Moon Planet. Okay, bottom of the deck with the Empress. So, Taurus. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Scorpio, Aries. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, so those are the, uh, could be in your birth chart or the birth chart of the energy person around you. Crisscross energies, if it sounds more like the energy around you and not your energy. Okay, so you are getting clear about a situation from the past that is holding you back, Okay. Uh, and I feel like this is with a counterpart. It could very well be your husband. It could very well be your wife. Uh, this person is somebody here who you have a very difficult time moving away from because you've known since childhood, or at least it feels like a very genuine love from the past that, you know, lasted a lifetime. Could be like, you know, a past life person that you've really bonded with here that you're constantly thinking of that's very difficult for you to move away from with death there's a transformation so there's a huge change here in this dynamic and it is divine counterparts because we're seeing queen and king of swords in the middle though we see the emperor and it's clarified by the eight of swords in reverse so somebody's getting empowered in order to free themselves here and i feel like the freedom is tied with that death it's allowing things to change and transform in order to get empowered to have a new beginning and move forward although they are very conflicted and they're very conflicted here to move forward but there's a passion and a desire to move towards something that is pulling them in like this queen of wands and this queen of wands is someone you're really attracted to this could be the other woman okay it doesn't have to be gender specific but it represents sometimes the other woman you know, the mistress, the person kind of we're attracted to here. Um, and I feel like there's this deep love here um, with the Empress. This is like, you know, this is mother energy, but it is like um, a very deep, unconditional, soulful, true, unconditional love here. Um, Yeah, somebody, this is kind of a very clear-cut reading. I see, you know, somebody moving towards something, someone they're passionate about and feel a deep love for. And um, it could very well be that this is the mother of your child at once upon a time, you know. So you might be 
getting empowered to release yourself from whatever was holding you back and you were conflicted about here um and you could be releasing yourself from the other woman to move back to your spouse your wife your person okay this is um take it as it's resonating here i feel like the king of wands is um you know somebody who is finally pursuing what it is that they want the fool is a new beginning here but i feel like this being the first card is very heavy us kind of really being stuck on a past person and a past situation and this past person past situation i feel like is a married person here okay i really feel as a, mo a mother a father you know this is a mother card this is a father card we have the emperor and the empress here okay we have the king of swords and the queen of swords and someone here who's just the queen of wands kind of in the middle here that maybe somebody is moving away from so you could have an energy around you guys sagittarius where somebody's you know left you maybe for another woman who wants to come back uh this could be a reconciliation card as well uh, but i see it as a new beginning here um and i see somebody really conflicted you know about this but i do feel like uh what the spirit is saying is surrender your concerns and allow the miracle to occur here so if you're kind of leaving a situation in which you were stuck for a very long time and allowing it to transform in order for you to get empowered to have a new beginning here you're being told to trust spirits okay so after the moon planets where we're kind of being given this like divine experience here you know maybe an opportunity that we might have not have been otherwise granted here either another chance a second chance or a new chance or you know something that we're empowered to do here uh so we're taking this leap we're freeing ourselves from some sort of limitation here although very conflicted in doing this we move forward you know and sometimes when we're really conflicted but we still take that jump we can reap the rewards of whatever this is here um so yeah let's pull some advice and some clarifiers here for you guys beautiful sagittarius what does this all mean we'll get some clarifiers we have justice in reverse so justice card is that marriage card in reverse could be somebody that you left uh justice in reverse is a divorce uh, justice in reverse could be in a situation that was just not balanced it was unjust it didn't quite work out maybe at some point in time or something's not working out so we're needing to kind of be empowered to move towards what is king of pentacles that's the father card again and it's in reverse not committing to a situation no longer being the father no longer being committed to a family situation or no longer being committed to someone here that's you know not providing a sense of balance a sense of justice and you know starting to get curious and ask questions and kind of in this is a investigating um areas here that we're getting curious about where we're starting to see things maybe differently here okay um you know the page of swords is about communication as well and the knight is about moving forward so i feel like we're getting curious about stepping forward moving forward here and the queen of wands you know is is a passionate type energy here that brings in what they want uh is very determined and same with this emperor very empowered very determined okay very fiery here so i do feel like sagittarius you are looking in the right direction although i feel like there is a lot of conflict here um i feel like what spirit is really saying is that yeah where you're headed or where you're starting to head to is the right direction and only you really know where this is at and because it's a collective reading i can't really stipulate you know which way it is because some of you guys are going back and some of you guys are leaving a situation um so take it as it resonates here but i am feeling there's through third party type situation in which you're potentially in or somebody is leaving their third party coming back so i don't know which it is but this is like the day of the third party <laughs> the day of the third party reading so um i love you guys very much i hope you guys resonated with this leave a like leave a comment and i will see you soon don't forget to check out your other uh signs it may resonate more i'll see you soon bye